My name is Crypto Bitcoin Chris. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please go ahead, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is entirely my opinion. Always do your own research. I want to thank everybody that's picked up Ledger Nano S hardware wallets. Links in the, in the description to the factory. Uh, so jumping right into the markets. It's actually pretty red day today. Uh, slow bleed most of the second part of the day. Uh, Bitcoin's popped back up from a recent dip. It's at about 66.83. There are a few green coins. Centrality destroying it at 66% in the positive. Funfair up about 16%. Basic attention token, KuCoin shares, and Theta token are up as well. Uh, let's talk about the. You've got the total market cap of cryptocurrency at 283 billion. Uh, this is Representative Warren Davidson. He's a Republican from Ohio, and he's basically stating that the we need a light touch of regulation uh, for ICOs. Basically, uh, has issues with the SEC uh, as far as how they are making light of the ICOs as far as regulations go. So, uh, just to listen, this is pretty important. Here, uh, Congressman, what, what do you want to see happen? What needs to happen? Well, good morning. And I think the big thing is, is we need a light touch regulatory framework that provides certainty for the ICO market. Uh, the SEC has started to weigh in just last week. Uh, uh, Bill Hemmen, uh communicated that Ether was considered a commodity, not a mm. security. And so there's been some concern as the SEC started to, reg SEC started to regulate that uh, everything starts looking like a security to a securities regulator. And, um, you know, we want to make sure that the United States capital markets stay strong and vibrant. And one of the ways to do that is provide regulatory certainty. So how would, uh, what, is, what does a light touch actually mean? It would be under her, her, whose purview? What would, uh, you know, what, what would it look like? Is it, uh, is it still sketchy in terms of what, uh, what the final product should look like? Yeah, so we still haven't put together the first draft, but we've worked with people across the, uh, the industry. Uh, including regulators, uh, in terms of how should this uh, take shape so that it drives capital. Right now there's a concern that there's regulatory arbitrage going on. Uh, we're launching an initial public offering is more complicated and expensive. And essentially companies are doing white papers instead of securities offerings. And they're essentially selling securities. Um, that's led some to be incredibly concerned about fraud. And there has been fraud in the market, so we have to protect consumers. Uh, and then some are concerned about things that start trading more as a currency uh, and the uh, Bank Secrecy Act, AML, Know Your Customer provisions that make sure we protect ourselves from, um, you know, illicit uses. I mean, part of the, I, I don't know exactly how it's all going to, no one does, obviously, whether it, it actually becomes a, um, a stable currency, whether it's always sort of a speculative investment uh, or whatever it is, but there, there are certain benefits to the, uh, to the unregulated aspect of, of the whole arena. And I, I just, I think that's what supporters are worried about, that, that you're, you're sort of, uh, you know, you, that's why I guess you said light touch. You go too far and all the benefits of, the, of cryptocurrency sort of, uh, they're not there anymore, right? Yeah, and I think that's the big thing. Everyone says cryptocurrency and the reality is what you see is crypto assets uh, broadly, crypto securities, crypto commodities, and so the Swiss have put a framework in place uh, that frankly is driving capital flows there. And so there's certainty. In the U.S. there's a concern that we're going to have this disparate patchwork of court rulings that doesn't provide a coherent uh, whole. And so we want to protect that market. Blockchain is truly transformative, perhaps in a way the internet was, in terms of how the distributed ledger can be applied to a broad range of technologies. And that's why you don't really know when somebody does an, an initial coin offering whether they're really launching this great distributed ledger product that is going to be a security or if it looks a little different like, uh, like Ether and Bitcoin have been determined to be essentially commodities. Are you concerned about any of So I think the key here is uh, it, the, it seems like government has a general understanding of what needs to happen, you know? So like he talked about, like they haven't even started writing the rough draft. Uh, as soon as a rough draft is written, as soon as there's a little bit more insight to how the government in the United States is going to 
uh, basically regulate ICOs and cryptocurrencies in general. I feel like it's going to be good. I feel like it has to be. I feel like the United States realizes that in order to stay competitive in a global market, uh, we can't just shy away uh, from the just immense benefits that cryptocurrency as a whole offers uh, the country. So a little bit on in this interview, like they go on, I just want you to listen to this lady. And this kind of makes me realize like that people know a little bit about crypto, but a lot of it's not correct. Of the uses for cryptocurrency, where you know it's being used on the black market, being used for all sorts of illicit things, because of the very thing that makes it desirable, which is it's untrackable. Well, I think there's a perception it's untrackable, but frankly, it's more trackable than cash. And it's like it's untrackable. I talked to a guy at the gym, and he's like, first thing he's like, yeah, Bitcoin, they're always getting hacked. This lady thinks it's untrackable. Like, really, general population, we're way ahead of the game being in crypto right now. Knowing what we know, a world ahead of, of what everybody else knows as far as cryptocurrency goes. So the future is very bright. Uh, Vertcoin is happy to announce the full release of the OpenCL Lyra RE version 2 miner. It's for AMD GPUs. Uh, we want to thank our amazing community for helping make this project possible. You can download the miner here. and It's stated... Uh, it's on Reddit uh, in Vertcoin, the Reddit Vertcoin sub on, on Reddit. So again, uh, Vertcoin is it's a smaller coin. It's the people's coin. Uh, it's kind of, you know, there's no huge ICO. They don't have a ton of money as far as marketing goes, but uh, definitely a good coin to keep an eye on. GDAX is now Coinbase Pro. It went live today at pro.coinbase.com. Nano could be the cryptocurrency of 2018. So this coin has instant transactions and zero fees. How, how, I mean, how could you get better than that as far as a payment protocol goes? Attention, this is Nano again. Attention, anyone who generated a seed uses the, using the Android wallet, immediately move your funds to another wallet derived from a different seed. We will have a patch shortly. So just, yeah, keep in mind, Nano's had some issues with... Uh, with wallets, so if you fall into this category, again, you could Google it and find more information or go to our uh, nano trade on Reddit. Big news from Tron, they're gonna burn 1 billion coins to celebrate its independence from Ethereum. Uh, so again, the Tron, the Tron Foundation, they announced that to com commemorate the exciting moment, they're gonna burn 1 billion TRX all at one time, which is worth 50 million USD. Uh, today's market price so keep in mind that platforms uh coin burns uh, in order to reduce the number of coins in circulation so uh, obviously it has to increase the value of the token but keep in mind there's still 90 uh not 99 billion trx uh and looks like 33.2 billion are held by the tron foundation and they will stay locked until January the 1st of 2020. So China came out with some news. They really, really like EOS. Uh, EOS is by far China's favorite blockchain. It's distantly followed by Ethereum and NEO. Uh, the scores were released in China's second monthly global public chain assessment index. So EOS, which launched a mainnet, led the pack with a score of 161.5. They're stating it has outstanding technical advantages in transaction confirmation efficiency, network throughput, transaction costs. So the CCID said in its report, although there were some accidents such as short-term delays, it's highly active in technological innovation and the software is updated quickly, making it most closely watched new public chains. Also, the EOS has got some big airdrops, like just one airdrop, I think, EON, it's called, uh, was received through Binance, and I, I believe it's trading at about a dollar fifty uh, per share. So again, uh, if you had a couple hundred EOS, obviously uh, that's some f good free money. This is again the list. It goes down. It lists EOS, Ethereum, Neo, Stellar, Lisk, Nebulous, Steam, BitShares, Ripple, Qtum, Waves, Cardano, Monero, Arc, Ethereum, Classic, Komodo. Bitcoin, Stratus, IOTA, Verge, Dash, Bitcoin. 
Nano, Litecoin, Sia, Hcash, Zcash, Bitcoin Cash, Decred, and NEM as far as the 30 on this general public chain assessments index. I'll actually tweet this on Twitter later, so if you want to check that out, crypto BTC underscore Chris. Follow me on Twitter. Verge, Verge News, Verge ties up with change now, recovery and collaborations. So Verge is obviously still recovering and establishing some new relationships. Uh, obviously, there were some uh, issues with Verge as far as uh, safety and security. So Crypto Wrecked, he, treat, he tweeted that if you're looking to purchase XVG with Visa or MasterCard, Verge currency is now available on ChangeNow.io. Check them out. There's a link below, ChangeNow.io. It leaves, ChangeNow leaves all the control to cent centralized services, such as non-custodial service. ChangeNow takes care of safety and does not control one's assets. They do not store the funds as well. There's no maximum amount for coin swaps on ChangeNow, which means one can exchange as much as needed. Uh, it works. ChangeNow works with 10 plus trading platforms and exchange partners. VeChain CEO Sonny Liu, he tweeted, we're not just building. So as far as Espresso is the first infrastructure partnership on VeChain Thor. Basically, it's stated that they're not just building the road up. They're f building a full functional freeway. It needs gas stations, restrooms, emergency line lanes, all necessary public services and tools. So a Espresso is a blockchain middleware for the front end developer. Espresso will act as a first infrastructure partner on the VeChain Thor platform. Uh, Sunny Liu is said to serve as a strategic advisor for this partnership. Espresso provides developers, enterprises, and organizations an elegant way to build blockchain-based decentralized applications. These dApps communicate with off-chain business data so they can realize the advantage of blockchain technology in the real world. So keep an eye on Venn. Crypto-friendly Robinhood wants to offer bank accounts. If you can't beat them, become them. Stock trading app Robinhood, which recently began rolling out cryptocurrency trading to many of its customers in the United States, wants to offer customer, sa cons customer savings accounts and other traditional banking services. So there's 4 million people that register for Robinhood commission-free stock trading platform, and users in 16 states can also trade Bitcoin and Ethereum alongside their equity investments. So Robinhood's one of at least three tech unicorns operating in the cryptocurrency space that are said to have inquired about registering as a national bank. Uh, keep in mind that Circle has done the same, pursuing a banking license, Coinbase as well. But what they're stating is that most fintechs come to us and they've heard uh, this thing called national banking charter that gives them preemption across state lines. Then they find out, they come speak to us and they what they find out what it really takes to become a bank. They kind of glaze over and often leave skid marks and leave the building. So Binance, just a reminder, convert your dust. Obviously, BNB tokens doing real well. So make sure convert your dust on Binance and make that money off those BNB coins, which have been top performers. So Twitter, so a fix for crypto Twitter. So if you use Twitter, you know it's a bunch of scams and send 0.1 ETH and you get one ETH back like a bunch of garbage. People do it. All, people fall for it all the time. A uh, fix for crypto Twitter. So social media giant acquires Smite. Twitter announced its acquisition of Smite, a San Francisco-based technology company that specializes in safety, spam, and security issues. The social media company described the purchase of part of its continuing commitment to healthy conversation on the platform. Smite's products will help us address challenges in safety, spam, and security more quickly and effectively, wrote Twitter Safety. So crypto Twitter has been plagued by scam promotional giveaways, and on a few occasions, identity theft has also proven trouble troublesome. Uh, so, again, clean up Twitter a little bit. It's kind of a mess. Ethereum billionaire, he looks to China for the next big crypto winners. His name is Anthony Diorio. He hasn't stopped looking for bargains in the digital currency world after amassing a fortune of as much as $1 billion from his early investment in Bitcoin and he's as the co-founder of Ethereum. So the biggest stake for me, he states, that is Qtum and VeChain right now, two Chinese projects 
So DiOrio said Thursday in an interview in Toronto, there's much more opportunity in the newer coins if you can identify them. Icon's token swap is underway. There's been no issues, the foundation says. So it's designed to connect independent blockchain communities with a variety of governance strategies. The Icon protocol first launched its crypto token ICX on the Ethereum blockchain, but in what has become an increasingly popular process, it's now moving those tokens over to its very own blockchain. There, again, there's no issues that have been reported. Let's talk about Daniel Larimer real quick. So he's a software programmer. Larimer created the cryptocurrency platform BitShares. He was a co-founder of the blockchain social platform Steemit. If you use Steemit or you don't use Steemit, go to steemit.com, follow me there. He's also the chief technical officer of EOS uh, with the company Block One. Daniel Larimer was also the creator of delegated proof of stake algorithm, consensus algorithm, and graphene technology. Uh, in February 2018, Forbes estimated Larimer's net worth between $600 and $700 million. So again, as far as EOS, uh, he's got actually a couple things. Uh, he was basically stated that Dan, Dan Larimer was dropping bombs in Telegram today. So basically someone asked, Dan, any chance on a timeline for some of this stuff, hardware wallet, etc.? Uh, and basically stated that the KEOS with Enclave support will be uh, mid-July. So look for that. Uh, you'll see someone said tired. Uh, this person asked Daniel Larimer, basically stated in so much more, tired of posting EOS articles on Steemit, Win 2.0. And Dan, Dan, Daniel Larimer says, doing it right, man. It takes time. 2.0 will not be a clone of 1.0. Obviously, Steemit's okay, but Steemit 2.0 will be better. Daniel Larimer went on to state that Block One is working on the best ID system out there. There's no government ID required. Uh, they're basically stating that, so they show their Block One ID card in a dispute then, rather than their keys. When we're done, they won't have to. So again, go from go to a Block One ID card instead of private keys. So. A lot, and this person states, Dan Larimer is the reason why I'm in EOS. I know EOS has had a rough time, uh, but again, I really think the technology behind EOS, there's a ton of airdrops if you're into airdrops. Uh, you know, I think that it's going to turn out when all is said and done as a, as a pretty good coin. Ethereum, and I know a lot of people are kind of anti-EOS now because it's just like frustrating. So believe me, I, I feel what you're, what, you're, what you're feeling and I understand where you're coming from. Ethereum co-founder says Wall Street will pour $20 trillion into crypto. So Ethereum co-founder Charles Hoskinson says crypto critics are overlooking the number of institutional investors waiting to pour their money into crypto. According to Hoskinson, Wall Street is poised to invest tens of trillions after the next wave of regulation. Like we've we need this regulation. We need the SEC, the U.S. government to come up and, and regulate everything. And you got a bunch of people that are going to jump into this. So this is just an overall idea. And I want everybody to kind of understand, like, here's what we're on the fringe of. And here's what, what the next bull run will entail. So Goldman Sachs back circle. They announced a stable coin to minimize volatility in the cryptocurrency markets and help pave the way for Wall Street investors. Coinbase has been developing four new products to unlock $10 billion of institutional investor money sitting on the sideline. NASDAQ has partnered with cryptocurrency exchanges, including Gemini, that are using its surveillance technology to create more robust trading platforms and meet the technical demands of institutional traders. Gemini has partnered with Caspian to connect institutional traders with multiple exchanges from a single uh, interface. Industry leader Susquehanna International Group, one of the world's largest investment firms, will open trading of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum for an initial group of qualified investors. Qualified investors have a ton of money. And Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange by volume, has been in talks with the Maltese Stock Exchange, among other governments, to grow the cryptocurrency ecosystem by introducing more fiat to crypto trading pairs. There's a ton on the horizon, you know, so just 
I know this market's tough right now, but just just be patient. Like we're gonna make it through this together. My name is Crypto Bitcoin Chris. I want to thank everybody so much for watching. Please go ahead, smash the like button. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below. Hit the bell for notifications. You guys have an awesome day. Take care.